Hello, I'm Hiroma Samiura of Okayama University, Japan. Firstly, thanks for improving our research by reviewers. The title of this talk is Analysis of a Method to Eliminate Rootless Cycles for Parallel Method with Skiffle Williams Mapping of a Barrett Nelic Curve. This is the outline of this presentation. Firstly, I talk about the background of our research. Pairing based cryptography is an advanced version of elliptic curve cryptography. It enables many innovative and multifunction cryptographic applications, such as ID based encryption and searchable encryption. One of the securities of pairing based cryptography is guaranteed by ECDLP. If ECDLP is solved, the security needs to be re verified. ECDLP will be explained later. These methods are known as methods for solving ECDLP. Parazlow method is a particularly efficient method. As a study using Parazlow method 140-bit, ECDLP was solved by about 2,000 Intel CPU cores in 2019. It is very important to verify how many bits are safe by performing the raw method more efficiently. We focus on Parazlow method used in this world record. Parazlow method may not be solved even when the bit length is small. The unsolvable cases are called a fruitless cycle. In addition, various studies have been conducted to improve the efficiency of Parazlow method. Among those studies, we will introduce related studies that are deeply related to this research. In Parazlow method, there is a set of seed points prepared in advance, and there is a method to reduce fruitless cycles by devising its configuration. In addition, a method was proposed to shorten the time to solve by using skew-fabulous mapping. Parazlow method with this mapping was used to solve 140-bit ECDLP. However, the problem is that applying the skew-fabulous mapping causes an increase in the number of fruitless cycles clearly. Those fruitless cycles cannot be ignored. In the case of the fruitless cycle, it is necessary to reselect the starting point, which is very inefficient. In this study, we propose a method to eliminate the fruitless cycle while benefiting from 6 times faster speed by the skew-fabulous mapping. Parazlow method with the skew-fabulous mapping is called the previous method in this presentation. Next, I will explain the fundamental required for this research. As the raw method is applied to the BN curve, which is one of the elliptic curves, the BN curve will be described. The curve equation of the BN curve is given like this. As the characteristics of the BN curve, the prime P and the order R are given by the formula. An operation that adds two rational points is called elliptic curve addition and can be calculated using this equation. Also, an operation that adds s rational points is called scalar multiplication and it is expressed like this. I will explain each DLP mentioned in the research background. When s times the rational point P is Q, it is known that finding Q from s and P is easy. But finding S from Q and P is difficult in most of the cases. This is called ECDLP. The raw method finds S from rational points P and Q. Next, I will explain the skew-fabulous mapping used to efficiently run the raw method. Rational points on the BN curve can be divided into groups of six points that can be obtained by the skew-fabulous mapping. If you can find one rational point, you can calculate all the rational points in the same group. Then the parameters alpha and beta required for the raw method can also be calculated. 
in this study, the representative point in the six points group is defined that the point with the uh, x coordinates is maximum and the y coordinates is an uh, even number. The skew fluminous mapping is used when mapping to the representative point. The search range can be reduced to 1 6 by dividing into groups of 6 points each. In addition, Prazlo method generally performs parallel attacks. Rational points generated as attack information from many clients are sent to the server and saved. If no measures are taken, the amount of data to be saved will be 100 exabytes or more. In the case of 140-bit ECDLP and cannot be saved. Therefore, the amount of data saved by the server is reduced by sending only when the conditions are met among the rational points generated by the client. This method is called the distinguished point method. Next, the raw method with the skew provenance mapping will be explained. Plaz raw method is a method for obtaining the private key S from the public available rational point P and Q. First create the starting point R0 and a table called seed point from the rational points P and Q. Alpha and beta are random numbers over ZR. This is a pre-calculation. Next, using a skewful business mapping, map to the representative point R0 bar of the group of six points to which the starting point R0 belongs. In this research, the representative point is a rational point with the maximum x coordinate and the even y coordinate in the group of six points. R0 bar is obtained from this equation. I will explain using the diagram of the client and the server. The starting point R0 is generated on the client and mapped to the R0 bar using the skewed venous mapping. R0 bar is checked with uh, the conditions of the distinguished point method meet and if so. The R0 bar is sent to the server. The server saves the sent R0 bar. If it is not met, proceed to the ne next step, R1 calculation. Next, a seed point is added to this representative point. The seed point is determined by the eta function. If the result of the eta function is 1, W1 is added to the R0 bar. Then, R1 bar is calculated by using skewed venous mapping. As before, R1 bar is checked whether the conditions of the distinguished point method meet or and if so. The R1 bar is sent to the server. The server determines if the rational points already saved and the point sent match. If they match, it is called a collision. If a collision is not detected, the rational point sent is saved. Repeat these steps until a collision is detected. If the collision is detected, ECDLP can be solved like this. If alpha and beta of rational points collided are equal, plus row method cannot solve because it continues to draw the same cycle. Such the case is called a fruitless cycle. In the case of a fruitless cycle, the starting point must be selected again. The fruitless cycle mentioned earlier rarely occurs when the parameters of the BN curve are large. In the previous method with the skewed venous mapping, there are fruitless cycles that occur regardless of the size of the parameters of the BN curve. That is the fruitless cycle that I presented at the Kanda workshop last year. Details will be omitted due to time or constraints, but uh, when the same seed points are added twice in a row, they cancel each other out due to the characteristics of the skewed venous mapping. The result is a fruitless cycle. The number of fruitless cycles is so large that it cannot be ignored. Please note that the fruitless cycle occurs when the same seed points are added in succession. Next is the proposed method. 
The previous method is shown on the left and the proposed method is shown on the right. The problem with the previous method was that the same seed points were added twice in a row. Therefore, as the proposed method, we divide the table of seed points into two and refer to them alternately. Since the proposed method can prevent the same seed points from being added continuously, it leads to a reduction of the fruit rate cycle. At this time, we need to make sure that the table does not contain the same relational points. The previous method requires two steps for the fruitless cycles to result in. The proposed method requires four steps. Therefore, the conditions to result in the fruitless cycle become stricter and the fruitless cycle can be eliminated. The advantages and disadvantages of the proposed method that can be predicted from the theory are as follows. The advantages are reduction of fruit cycle and implementation cost. It can be implemented by changing only the eta function. The disadvantages is that it can affect the solving time of ECDLP. This is because the proposed method is a method that postpones the fruit cycle and tightens the conditions. In addition, by making the table of seed points into two, it can be divided into the two types shown below. In the case of type 2, even if the same rational point is generated, if the rational point does not meet the condition of the distinguished, distinguished point method, it will not be sent to the server. So it is synonymous with no collision. Next is parameters and experiment. The following describes the parameters targeted in this research. We use these parameters of the BN curve. Experiments were conducted for 16, 32, and 64 seed points. As for the condition of the distinguished point to be sent to the server, we verified the case where the lower 1 or 2 bits of the x coordinate of the generated rational point are all zero, and the case where the distinguished point method is not applied. The number of bits in the distinguished point method is called the number of thin out bits. ECDLP to be solved was changed randomly and executed 100,000 times. In the experiment, the advantages and disadvantages predicted by the theory were verified in experiment 1 and experiment 2, respectively. In experiment 1, we compare the solving rate of ECDLP between the previous method and the proposed method. In experiment 2, we compared from the viewpoint of how many steps are required for ECDLP solving time. First is the result of experiment 1. It shows the result of 100,000 trials of whether HDLP can be solved for the previous method and the proposed method. From the left, the number of seed points, the number of thin out bits, the number of cases of the previous method and the proposed method that can be solved. And the number of cases that cannot be solved are shown. In order to match the preparation cost, we compare 16 seed points in the previous method and the two tables with 8 seed points in the proposed method. In addition, the number of times the proposed method becomes type 1 is shown in parentheses. In unsolvable cases, 1 indicated the number of fruitful cycles described in the previous slide. 2 is the number of cycles that cannot be solved by the server because the conditions of the distinguished point method are not satisfied, although they collide on the client. In experiment 1, comparing the total of the number of 1 and the number of 2, the proposed method succeeded in eliminating the fruitless cycle by 34.1% or more. In type 2, if the collided point is not sent to the server, unsolvable cases increase by increasing the thin out bit. On the other hand, type 1 of the proposed method can be solved if even one point of the cycle is sent to the server. 
in this experiment, the number of rational points collided on the server was higher in the proposed method than in the previous method. Next is experiment 2. The comparison was made from the viewpoint of how many steps it takes to solve the ECDLP. We compared the number of steps to solve ECDLP. The fruitless cycle draws an infinite cycle unless it is stopped intentionally. So comparison are uh, made only when it can be solved. In this table, the average number of steps per trial is shown for the client. By comparing the number of steps, it is possible to make a comparison regardless of the performance of the device. It was found that the number of steps on the proposed method increases in all cases. However, since Parallel method usually attacks in parallel using a large number of clients, we predict that the impact will be small. But we think it needs to be investigated. From the above, it was confirmed that the number of unnecessary random walk paths is reduced, and the number of steps is increased in the case of multi client. Finally, conclusion and future work. We proposed a method to eliminate the fruitless cycles of Prazero method with the skewed venous mapping over a BN curve. The proposed method was effective in eliminating the fruitless cycles. The proposed method takes longer to solve ECDLP when we use one server and one client. Future work is to consider the op optimum parameters such as the seed points or thin out bit. Thank you for listening.